What's going on, y'all? How's everybody doing today? I uh, decided, I haven't been on in a minute, so how's everybody doing? Um, just decided to come on and teach people about real estate. If you will, tap your screen because I'm just showing you how anybody can do this. That's the amazing thing about this real estate game is that, you know, a lot of people don't believe in themselves, I guess is what it is. But anyway, I'm, I'm just on here to teach, give you a little bit of game and get to financial freedom and like I said, anybody can do this. Um, I'm using something that I always do. If you have any questions about real estate, put them in the chats. What questions do, do people have? Um, I'm just trying to come on here and help people out because this is something that's doable. But you just have to take the time out to learn it. That's the good thing about it. You know, like I said, anybody can do this. And what I do is I, I buy homes um, leveraging by using other people's money. And then I turn around and rent these things out. And I get cash flow. So I've been doing it since the early 2000s. I'm going to continue to do this because, man, it, this works. It, it sure beats working a nine to five and having to slave for somebody else. So if you want to learn how to do this, uh, stick around. I talk about it a little bit. I don't want to be on here long because I got some things I got to do. But like I said, it's been a while since I've been on. And uh, I rent my properties out to Section 8, okay? So now I want to make this clear. I'm not here to talk about Section 8. I'm here to talk about real estate investing. So somebody's saying, help. Yeah, I want to make that clear. Um, I am teaching about real estate investing. And I don't do this fix and flip and wholesaling and stuff like that that people will be liking. I'm just talking about simply buy and hold. You know, I rent my properties out and I get cash flow every single month. So if you want to learn how to do this, if you have questions, put them in the chat. Somebody says, I have a lead. Okay, well, you know, how do you go on about doing it? Are you going to close out on it or what? What are you going to do? What's your next step? What do you want to know? Um, can't buy nothing in California. Yeah, California is a little bit high. Um, you can go somewhere else, but uh, it doesn't mean you need to not do this. Um, that's what I highly recommend. Try to partner with people. Um, go to another city. You can always do that. Um, there's ways to make this happen. So uh, you don't have to choose California if you live there. If I lived in California, I promise you one thing. I'd be trying to search somewhere else. Me personally. It doesn't mean I wouldn't do real estate. I'll just do it. If I live in California, I'm going to search another location to go do it. And you could still do this stuff online have partners with you to help you out to go look at these deals because you can make it happen. So what I do is I buy properties um, and then I turn around. If they need work, um, I get them renovated and then I rent them out and I get cash flow every single month. So I'm just giving you an example of what I do. Like I'm looking at this house and you could use tools that you already have. For example, um, I'm on the internet. We all are right now. You can go to this website right here to look for deals. That's just, I'm just giving you one way to look for deals. I have seven different methods on how to find real estate investment deals, but I'm gonna do, for example, Dallas, Texas. Matter of fact, tell me where y'all are from. Cause I always do this. I always show you how you can do this just by using a something like realtor.com or there's other software programs out there too. Sometimes you could use these free ones. I don't like using free because you get what you pay for. Um, a lot of that stuff is outdated. For example, like uh, Zillow.com, even Realtor.com at times can be um, outdated, but there's still ways you can make this happen. So what city and state are y'all from? Let's look for some deals in y'all's area. Let's look for some deals in y'all's area. If not, I'm going to put my own city and state and, and, you know, or I'll pick one myself and, you know, go from there. Um, I'm just doing Dallas, Texas right now, but uh, I'm going to show you that there are deals in your area, okay? And look, even if you can't find anything, you know, I would partner with people, get with a realtor. That's one way. There's other type of methods that I use to be able to find deals. Now, I'm looking at this house right here. I, I pulled up Dallas, Texas. Let's, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. I don't know if this is a good deal or not, but I can find it. This looks like a pretty good property. Just looking at the property itself, and then we'll run through the numbers on another deal. But I like buying deals like this, man. Just imagine you rent buying this thing out, renting it out, and then uh, getting cash flow every single month. Somebody said Jacksonville, Tennessee. Let's do that. 
Let's try Jacksonville, Tennessee. But before we get started, guys, if y'all will help me out as I help other people out all the time, share this information. Tap the screen. Click the like button. Let's get this started. And I want to show you how to find deals. But I'm going to wait until you guys help me out. I'll help you out. But I'm going to do Jacksonville, but I'm going to wait till we get to a thousand. I'm going to wait till we get to 2,000 likes. I love it when people help out. I'm busy helping people out, so I'm going to ask y'all to help. Not If not, no biggie. I have been known to just say, you know what? I bounce and go to another uh, platform. I've done that many, many times. So I'm going to wait. I got time. I'm going to wait till we get to 2,000 likes. When we get to 2,000 likes... I'll show y'all how to make this happen. Now, I'm going to do Jacksonville, Tennessee once we get to 2,000 likes. But let me pull it up. Jackson. Oh, Jackson, Tennessee. Okay, Jackson, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee. I don't even. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we can find in Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, I already found some deals already. Well, I don't know. I don't know if these are deals or not, but let's let's tap that screen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, all the deals that I find, guys, they're always off-market deals. Okay. Let's see if these would make a good rental property. Let's see. And I like to see pictures. Oh, yeah. Now, me personally, I love buying stuff that's outdated, right? I like buying distressed properties because when you can buy distressed properties, you can get them below market value. Now, look at this. Man, I'm going to give you all a crash course. And by the way, speaking of crash course, I want to show you all something real quick. Uh, I'm going to wait to. Oh, man, y'all don't want this information. Let me stop. I'm going to stop and be quiet until we get to 2,000. I'm giving out too much fresh game right now. Let me stop. Because I'm about to give y'all some information that could be life-changing financially for you, if you want it. And I guarantee you I'm giving you some stuff that not a lot of other people are doing. But I want to show y'all something. I do have this for free if you want it. I do have this book right here. That is me. I'll talk a little bit about more about that. And when you get the book, it's for free. You can join my free... Um, community. I have a free community with other real estate investors in there and I'll be doing other things like workshops and I have gifts in there and I'll be granting you other access to templates and, and, and checklists and stuff like that if you want to get started in real estate because this is, can really get you to that next level. But you got to get that book and when you get the, the way to get that book is you click the link in my profile. Okay, Click the link in my profile and you can get that book for free. And you can join my community for free. We're really trying to get something jumping off here to help people out because people are always texting me and reaching out to me saying they want to get into real estate. So here's your chance right here. I get this inbox all the time and DMing me, telling me they want to get into real estate. Now, I'm going to flip my screen around for Tennessee because I want you all to see this. Now, somebody was asking me about Jacksonville, Tennessee. Now, watch this. I want you all to see. You let me know. Just by looking at the pictures... You tell me if this would make a good rental property. We're not even looking at the numbers yet, but just you tell me what y'all think. Put yes or no in the chats if you think this would make a good rental property. You just let me know. We're, we'll look at the numbers in a minute, but when I look at rental properties, I want to see, is it enough space? Is it enough yard? Um, I'll look at the other stuff later. Then when I go on the inside, I want to look at the layout. How old is it? I love outdated stuff. This is just me personally. Like right now, I could tell you, I would already replace, maybe replace that carpet. I can't tell if that's just lines in there or if it's buckled. But just looking at the property, we'll look at the numbers and everything later in just a minute. But would this make a good rental property? Yes or no? Put yes or no in the chats. I got Once I see enough, I'll move forward to let y'all know what I think. Now look, I like this. This carpet is bad. You can see that. It's got some lag marks in it or dirt marks and then it needs some work, okay? And I like this wood trimming. That doesn't bother me at all because I'm renting this property out if I plan on it, but look. Would this make a good rental property? I should see a whole lot of yeses or noes in the chats, man. I'm about to give y'all some game, man. I'm about to show y'all something, man, I'm telling you. This is just a little bit what I'm giving you because when you join, when you join the, um, when you get the ebook that I got, you're going to get more information. But just look at this. All right. So right here, it's got wallpaper. See, all this is replaceable. I can replace all this stuff. I'm giving you a hint. All this stuff can be replaced. And yes, you don't have to pay cash for these homes. I never pay cash for a home. 
And somebody's talking about flips. Well, if you like flipping, that's good, but that's not going to bring you wealth, man. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you from, from game, for doing this for 24 years, you are not going to get wealth by flipping. I promise you. Your true wealth is by holding on to these properties and renting them out. And I show you how to do this. Now, look at this. It needs paint. You can see this. Look at the flooring is bad. This to me, I'll let you know in just a second, but yes or no in the chats. Let me see a whole bunch of yeses or nos. Would this make a good rental property? We'll look at the numbers in just a second. Yes or no. I should see everybody participating. Let me see. Somebody said it's a good project to flip. Yeah, if you wanted to flip it, but we'll, we'll look into that in just a second. Is this a good pro rental property? Yes or no? Lee Colley says yes. Bradigio Signs says yes. Who else? I'm, I'm really looking at my slide from the Bronx. Says yes. Jason Lapore. Okay. Brayden. Okay. How you doing, Brayden? My moderator. How you doing, Brayden? I haven't been on in a minute, Brayden, but thank you for uh, being my moderator today. Curb Serve says yes. Now watch this. I'm going to show y'all a little trick. I'm going to show y'all something. Somebody said no. Okay. Now, it's not even a question of whether it is or isn't. I'm just going to say, I'm going to let you know. I want to look at the numbers now. Watch this. I want you to look at the numbers here. All right. This house. Now, first of all, it's pending. That's okay. I'm not buying it anyway. This is just, a, I'm just showing you what I do when I look for properties. It's for sale for $160,000, right under it. It's a four-bedroom, two-bath, 1757 square foot. That right there. Is a lot of square footage right there for a rental property. I like that. That's a good size. I'm giving y'all some game. And it's a four bedroom, two bath. Just this right there makes it a good size rental property. All right, let me move forward on this. All right, watch this. I'm, 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 I'm giving you the sauce. I'm telling you, man, this... <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna break it down like this the way I am. Tap your screen if you're ready for this. I'm going to show you the numbers now, but tap your screen because this is where it even gets better. So I'm going to get this address. I'm going to get this address, okay, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to put it in my favorite software program. But I'm going to wait to, because I'm about to give you all some really, really good game because what I'm about to give you now could be life changing. I'm going to tell you something real quick. What I'm about to show you on how to do this, it took me years to figure this out. And I come out here on my live and I give you free game right now. This is just the tip of the iceberg about what's about to be in my community to help you more. But watch this. I go to the software program, which is in my ebook. You get seven days free. OK, there you go right there. All right. And by the way, speaking of my ebook, there's my ebook right there. All you got to do is click the link in my profile. But watch this. OK, let me get back to this. Uh, where was I at? I put the address in. Again, this is in my ebook. This is called PropStream, for those that don't know. It's called PropStream. Look at all the deals in Tennessee, by the way, that are all below market value, okay? All by using this software program, okay? Now, to get more detail about this, what I do is I want to look at this property. Again, it's a four-bedroom, two-bath. Do you remember what the sale price for this house was? Let's go back to it. It was $160,000, okay? $160,000 is what it's worth, or what they're selling it for, excuse me. That's what it's selling for. But I go to my software program, okay? Not mine, but the one that I like to use. I see that it's a four bedroom, two bath, 1757 square foot. All right, it's on market because we saw it on realtor.com, but this is where it even gets better. The value of this house is right here. $243,000, $243,000, and it's for sale for one hundred sixty. dollars Now, I'm going to pull out the calculator, okay? I'm going to pull out the calculator because men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. It's worth two forty three, dollars and again, uh, it's for sale for one sixty. dollars If I had to put, let's, I'm just going off, I don't know for sure or not. Of course, you'd have realtors, excuse me, contractors come out there. But if you know that it's worth, if you're buying it for 160000 okay, 160, and say you had to put maybe, I don't know, $30,000 into it, let's just say, yeah, this is say $30,000 worth of rehab, say the contractors came out there, that means you're all in for $190,000. let us just say two hundred. let us just say two hundred. It's worth two forty three. Is this a deal, yes or no?
Yes or no, is this a deal? <laughs> I'm telling you how to do this, man. Nobody else is going to be buying it below what it's worth. So if it's worth 243 because this software program gives you accurate information and you can have realtors and if you have contractors come out there and they give you a bid, we'll just hypothetically say and say it's worth $40,000 worth of rehab I just showed you and you're all in for two hundred. dollars you got $40,000 worth of equity into the deal. Is this a deal? Yes or no? Sly from the Bronx says, yes, over $40,000 in equity. Thank you for explaining that because um, that is the truth, what you're saying. And I'm just giving you a rough estimate. You, you wouldn't know until exactly until you had, you know, your contractors come out there. But the point I want to make to you is this. People don't mind spending money to go get a brand new car that's going to lose value. But when I teach you about real estate, people always question it. People always wonder if they should do it. It's amazing how the mindset works. It's amazing how the mindset works. But yeah, $40,000 in equity, that's not bad. And I just want to let you know something. This is exactly what got me out of my corporate America job because I was trying to figure out a way because I got tired of working for somebody else and I knew I wasn't getting ahead as I was working at the plants. Even though I made great money, I still wasn't making it. And can anybody relate to that? Can anybody relate to having a good job or just a job and then on top of that, you feel like you're not making it. Who who can really relate to that? I got to get my fan on. Or my fan is on. I just wonder who can put it. Raise your hand if you can relate to that. That you work for somebody, but yet you don't feel like you're making it financially. I always wondered that. I'm gonna be you in the third in thirty years, Tyler WXB. Awesome. ER for 15 years, me. Awesome. I'm just telling you what I did. I worked at a plant and I made great money and I went to school for it. But I always wondered, even though I'm making great money, why am I not making it? Why, why is it that I make excellent money, but by the time I get paid, I don't have anything to show for it, right? All my bills are paid and I have no extra money. Can anybody relate to that? Elizabeth Avina says, starting my real estate course in a few weeks. Awesome, Elizabeth. And I'm going to tell you something that I did, too. I started to um, take some courses, and I became a realtor. But I, became, I, I found out one major thing. Um, I didn't want to be on the buy and sell side of a commission-based um, business. I wanted to have ownership. When you own stuff and you can hold on to it, that's where your true wealth is built. And that's what I found out. It's owning the property that's going to build you wealth. It's not being a realtor and the commission. And I'm not knocking realtors by no stretch of the word. I'm just telling you that when you own something and it goes up in value and you have assets and it's making you money over time, that's where your true wealth is. It's nothing else in between. I'm just telling you. I've been through the hardships. I've been through trying to figure this stuff out. And I'm just telling you what worked for me. And there's a whole lot of real estate investors like myself that are doing the same thing. And once we found that out, it's rinse and repeat and you do it again. Who wants to see one of my deals?